So like, that's where we want to focus our energies. The betting itself is simple. It's getting to that point and recognizing there's all these factors that you need to take into account as to whether or not to do it. And I think that's where we start to get much more advanced than the the straightforward positive EV process that we're seeing today. Like this is where Eric and I, we start going down these threads and we're like, holy shit, the power in this is un- unbelievable. And then our ability to bring in historical data to this whole thing to inform all of that. Watch out. <laughs> it's just... Like we're going to take you from two dimensional viewing to four dimensional viewing. And that's, that's what I mean. Like it's, that's not hyperbole. It's a little hyperbole, but it's not entirely hyperbole because what, what are the, what are the dimensions, right? Right now I'm looking at now, right? I'm looking at now. What I can do is add in a historical reference to the lines. So that's adding another dimension. That's adding your third dimension. And then I can add a temporal reference to the historical analysis, which means I'm now looking at not only how do these lines look today, right now in this moment in this market, which is what we're betting with right now, then I could say, how does traditionally these markets perform in this? And and am I going down a bad path? Think baseball betting. There's a way that we can solve for this. Think baseball. Then think about timing. Well, it's a difference if I'm betting a day ahead or three hours ahead or two weeks ahead of that event. There's patterns there at those points in time that we need. That's your fourth dimension, right? So that's the kind of shit that we're going to be doing. So watch out. (laughs) Watch out. The fact that nobody's doing this today is mind boggling to me. It's mind boggling. 